This video is a follow-up to the first two videos on the Ruin Focus application. The application also supports Flux GGUF models. Let's check how it works. The documentation for the application says we can download the GUF models from the given link and the GUF Schnell version from this link. On Hugging Face, go to File and Versions. You will find a list of available GUF models. The selected models are in order starting from Q2, which has a higher quantization compared to the other models below. This means it will take less VRAM and generate results of lower quality compared to other models, such as the Q8 model. We can simply assume that Q2 is more compressed. Same goes for the Schnell version of Flux GUF models. This models can be downloaded by clicking on this icon and can kept in the checkpoint folder of the application. The documentation also says some models from Civit AI having UNET will also work. As it is only the UNET. These three remaining parts, necessary to generate a complete image, need to be downloaded separately. Download can happen automatically if specified in the settings file, as shown in the below example. Once these three files are in place, we should be able to use the GUF models and similar but other Flux Safe Tensors models as well. Below there are links to some of the GUF models on Civit AI. As it was on Hugging Face, this also has the Q2 which is highly compressed, followed by others. You can select and download by clicking this button. The documentation also contain a link to a discussion on models supported by Ruin Fucus. Thanks to this person for sharing Flux models working in Ruin Fucus. These are the links for the models. You will find many such models names below. The link has the specific model selected, which can be downloaded directly. If you wish to download models from below, based on the remarks given after the model's name, you can just copy the model's name and search on internet. You may find multiple variants like this. You can note the variant name like this and match the name with these names to get the one mentioned in the discussion. As per the discussion, Laura works as well with the GUF models but there are some limitations. Let me make the GUF model working first. And to do so, we need these three things. Go to the Ruined Focus application folder. Into the project. Settings folder. Open the settings.json file in a notepad. This is how the settings should look. You can directly copy from here. You should note the first file name I wrote here is clip underscore i dot safe tensors. You may get an error if you write flux underscore like this. The first and third file will remain the same, no matter what GUF model you are using. The second file may change depending on the GUF model you will be using. These T5 files include the name Q8. I assume this is respective to the GUF models we saw earlier. So, now in my settings, the second file is similar to this Q6. This means, the GUF model Q6 should work with this. The third file is this, AE.SafeTensors. All the files can be downloaded manually from the download icons as well. After completing these settings, make sure to have a comma at the end of every like as visible here. There will be no comma after the last line, like this. Save the file and then download some GUF models. For this example I have downloaded some Schnell models from here. I have downloaded Q2 and 3 from the top. And Q6 and 8 from bottom. I have kept the downloaded models in the checkpoint folder.
I will test this models and then a random guff model from Civit AI. Let's start the application. I will first select the custom option to change the performance settings. These are some settings I commonly use when using a flux model. This sampler and scheduler works most of the time. In the models section, make sure to remove the LoRa selected by default. The settings we saw earlier, you should find the default LoRa name somewhere here. To remove you can replace the LoRa name with none. Within all the models, I have the Q2 and 3 models, the smallest, and Q6 and 8, the largest guff models. The T5 in settings is this Q6. So, I will use the Q6 model. My prompt will be from Civit AI's homepage. This image was generated on a flux dev model. Let's see, what do we get with Schnell Guff model? We had given the file's name and settings, so the file should start downloading first. And it's downloading. Second file was T5, started downloading from the hugging face. And then the last file. Loading the Q6 model took the entire available space on RAM. But the time took for image generation was fine, 3 to 4 seconds per iteration. The image is not that bad because we asked for an image which could not have existed. You can be the judge, this is subjective. The dev model did get a better image here. In the performance settings, the sampler plays an important role in the result. Changing the sampler combined with a different scheduler makes quite a difference. Some combinations do not work. The combination I am showing works most of the time. You have to play around a bit to get the best for you. I tried changing the model from Q6 to Q2. Loading the smallest model took 37 seconds. But the image generation was quick, 2 to 3 seconds per iteration. There could be two reasons for such an image. The first is the file I specified in the settings. The T5 encoder has Q6 in it, which may not go well with the Q2 model. But the Q2 encoder was not there. The second reason I can think of is, I have used the wrong sampler or scheduler for this model. I will test this further and may update the comment section. Or you can share your findings in the comment, that will be helpful. Next, I will try a Q3 model. And the encoder and settings will be this Q3. I will select the Q3 guff model. And generate by keeping everything here the same. I changed the encoder in settings, but it still loaded the Q6 encoder. Make sure to restart the application after such changes. The result was with an incorrect burger. I tried changing the sampler and scheduler. After a few changes, this was the result. I did a restart to use the Q3 models with the proper encoder specified in settings. The encoder specified is being downloaded. Loading the model took 2 minutes, but image generation was quick. Changing the sampler made the burger go wrong, but it can be corrected after trying a few combinations. Next I will try the Q8 model and a random model from Civit AI. By keeping everything the same, I tried the Q8 model. The encoder started downloading. You can also download and keep it in the said folder as mentioned in the application documentation. The image generation was quick. This is the result. As said earlier, you have to try a few combinations of scheduler and sampler. The image generation time was under 15 seconds, so, I tried few more prompts. The image generated was definitely a good quality.
Next I will look at Civit AI for a Q8 GUF model, how it works in Ruined Focus. This should work. I downloaded the model and kept it into the checkpoint folder. Back to the application. The model should be visible here. Select the model and generate. Loading this model took 3 minutes, with all space available in RAM. Do note that I am using a 10-year-old computer. After all that processing, this is what I got as a result. The model is working, but I did something wrong. In such cases, you may need to look for settings, somewhere on Civit AI. If it's not in the description, you can check in the image generated by the model. This can be copied. We can always use this information to improve the image generated. So, it takes 20 steps and the sampler is different. Getting such random settings works most of the time. Processing the image took 55 seconds and still the result was bad. Sometimes you may have to look twice or thrice. So, it says 10 steps and a different sampler. The CGF is 4. The image generation time also depends on the scheduler and sampler. This time it took 78 seconds. The image generated was not that great. I tried with different scheduler. After trying a few times, it raised a question for me. How well does this model adhere to the prompt? To find out, I gave a prompt, asking for a red Lego brick next to a yellow ball on a wooden desk. It took around 60 seconds, and this is the result. I was expecting a working desk, so I added a wooden chair at the back. 60 seconds, and this is the result. The result looks good to me. What do you think? I will try the same prompt with the Q8 model I downloaded from Hugging Face. It took two and a half minutes to load the model and 50 seconds to generate the image. I forgot to change back the sampler, the one I took from the Civit AI image. The second image was under 30 seconds, and the result is okay. I asked for the brick next to the ball. I was expecting this brick to be somewhere here. It should work with human subjects as well. Let me know if you have tried the GGUF models.